Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Football fans know what happened yesterday. Social media can attest to what happened yesterday. Yes, Real Madrid came head to head with Chelsea. And thanks to Benzema's hat trick, yes, hat trick, he single handedly and the news headlines say destroyed Chelsea mate. The final scorecard read Real Madrid 3 and Chelsea 1. But there is a secret that many of you guys didn't know. Yeah, I'm gonna reveal that secret now. The Muslims know exactly what secret it is and that was that Karim Benzema was fasting the whole day before that match mate. Yeah, he had starved himself, not even water mate. Such that even the news that are typically anti-Muslim were in awe of this feat of his. Car blimey, the headline reads. And blimey indeed. People have been asking for it. They've been waiting for it and now it's here. Yes, it's Lighthouse Mentoring Service. It provides a free one-to-one -one mentoring service for ex-Muslims, people that have doubts in the religion, and it gives them that time which is free to help answer their doubts and then of course ultimately inshallah come back to the religion. You want to share in this reward? Why would you not? Donate now! So Kareem has been doing amazing this month. I mean, he's just been crowned the third leading goal scorer in Real Madrid, and he is France's all-time goal scorer. I mean, hang on a minute right here. The irony here is palpable. Why? Because France is known as an Islamophobic nation. Banning hijabs, you know, shutting down mosques. It's crazy what's going on there. And this very nation's pride, yeah, in their national sport. It's, it's a Muslim, it's Karim Benzema. I mean, you, you cannot make this stuff up. And it reminds me of Moses, peace be upon him, who was raised in the house of the Pharaoh, who literally was trying to kill all the male babies. And Allah made it such that he was to live and grow up in the very house of the person that was trying to kill him. And not to mention guys that after this hat trick, people are pretty much saying that give the Ballon d'Or to Karim Benzema. Those of you that know, the Ballon d'Or is an award, it's a trophy that you get for being the best football player in that year. And in an interview with Esquire three days ago, the interviewer asks him, Ramadan is coming up. What impact does that have on your routine, your schedule and your training regime? He responded with, no impact. Ramadan is part of my life and my religion makes Ramadan an obligation. For me, it's very important and I feel good when I'm fasting. <laughs> what a guy confident and unapologetic in his religion, in his faith, in his belief. This is how all of us should be, no matter where we reach in life and what we do in life. And that's why guys, whatever Allah tells us to do, that is ultimately good for us. Yeah, even if it seems difficult or it seems hard, that thing will ultimately make people come to us. We flip it, we try to please people, no please Allah. Yeah, because if you fix your relationship with Allah, Allah will fix your relationship with everyone and everything else. Yeah, go for the commands of Allah. Even if you lose your friends, even if you lose your job, you lose this, you lose, doesn't matter because ultimately you'll be the one that will be laughing mate. Remember, he who laughs last, laughs the best. And because he put Allah first, yeah, not only was he trending in this world, but some would say he was even trending in the heavens. And I want to end with this, look, Kareem is famous, yeah, he's rich, but even he knows that everything is temporary. And no matter where you get, if you want to be truly successful, attach yourself to Allah. Even you guys that are watching, yeah, some of you guys are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But even you people that don't believe in a God, even you worship. If we take worship to be knowing someone the most, which you could say celebrities, loving someone the most, 
which could be your wife or your girlfriend, obeying someone the most, that could be your boss at work, and praising someone the most, that could be the country and the nation that you're living in. So rather than all these things pulling you in different directions and let's face it, letting you down, why not worship the one? Allah, who will free you from the shackles of all these other isms and schisms. And Kareem knows it. That's why he starved himself. Because he knows that in the Quran it says that we fast to gain taqwa, which is God consciousness, for us to get close to God. And he also knows that fasting will teach him restraint. As the famous saying goes, he who can control his stomach can control anything. Subhanallah, yesterday we saw Islam trending. That's right, we saw Ramadan trending, that's right. And those of you that are in a troubled part of your life and you don't know what's going on, this should serve as an example. Never let go of the rope of Allah and ultimately, ultimately you will attain success. But if you go to these other means, yes, temporarily you might get some success, but ultimately there is nothing but failure. Why? because Allah's created us and He knows us the most. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. Assalamu alaikum.